we're talking about Jesus and the fact that he's the greatest of the great, the best of the best. Today I want to talk to you about the fact that Jesus is the great Savior. In fact, he's the only true Savior. And that's been true about him from his birth. The angel told Joseph, call his name Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. The name Jesus means Savior. The angels told uh, the shepherds in the field, Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Luke chapter 19, Jesus himself, giving his mission statement, he said, The Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which is lost. John chapter 4, he's called the Savior of the world. Acts chapter 4, Peter says that there's salvation in no other. There's no other name under heaven given among men whereby you must be saved. He's the only Savior. Philippians chapter 3, the great coming of the Savior, Jesus. 1 Timothy 4, he's called the Savior of all men. Titus chapter 2 mentions the Savior, Christ Jesus. 1 John 4, 14, he's called the Savior of the world. He said, well, what makes him the Savior? Why is he the Savior? Well, it's very simple. You and I have sinned. We've broken God's moral law. We've broken his Ten Commandments. We've disobeyed God. The scripture says in Romans, Chapter 6 and verse 23, the wages or the result of sin is death or separation from God. But Jesus never sinned. He was fully God, fully man. He never broke any of the Ten Commandments. He not only kept the law, he fulfilled the law. Not just the outward actions, but the spirit of the law as well. Jesus never sinned. Therefore, instead of deserving death, he deserved life and union with God forever. But because he loved us, Christ suffered, it says in Peter, for our sins. The just for the unjust, he might bring us to God. Being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. He died for us so that we can receive his righteousness, his life, so that he could save us. And this becomes real when we put faith in Jesus as Savior. Let me ask you, have you, there ever been a time, a place, and a moment when you realized you can't save yourself, that you need a Savior, and you have cried out to God to save you from your sins, to save you from yourself, to pay for your sins, to forgive your sins and to give you eternal life? Have you gotten off the, the, the throne of your heart and allowed Jesus to become your Lord and Master? If, if you haven't experienced Jesus, the great Savior, you're, you're missing out and you will miss out forever. Right now, cry out to Jesus. Ask Him to save you. And if you do that, Please make a note there in the comments and say, I just trusted Jesus as my Savior. I admitted my sin. I believed in his death on the cross for my sin and his resurrection to save me. And I called on him to save me. And I surrendered my life to him forever. Please tell me that in the comments. And may God bless you.